fall, I think it's extremely insensitive of the chief minister. I mean, but that is her nature. Uh, that she's repeatedly trying to heap calumny and to publicly insult the parents of the doctor. And she's doing it deliberately because she wants to, you know, uh, she wants to kind of uh, try to pressurize them mentally. And that is exactly what she's trying to do. There are at least two instances where one chief minister herself has publicly gone on record to say that she has offered compensation to them. She has offered money to them. Second is a question which is getting subsumed in this entire discussion is this whether DC North did go and offer money to the family. And that is an answer that we want, that the people of West Bengal want. If he had gone, it is not the work of the police to go and make such overtures. Either the DM must have been sent, should have been sent, or the health secretary should have been sent, or some senior IS officer deputed by the government of West Bengal, appointed by the chief minister. And there's one senior IS officer who's on the loose, who has no responsibility exactly, the, who has no defined responsibility, like Mr. Alapon Bandubadhyay. He should have been sent. It is not the work of the police. So the point is on two occasions, very crassly, money was offered. But the larger question that people are asking and which the late doctor's parents also have said is that whether a certain senior police officer belonging to the Kolkata police had gone and offered money. Why on earth would the Kolkata police officer go and offer money to the family who lives in Barakpur? Where is the DM? Where, is the, uh, where are the concerned officer of the Barakpur uh, police unit there? Why didn't they go? So I think she's just being very economical with the truth. Chief Minister of West Bengal is known to lie through, through her teeth without batting an eyelid. No, I think it's another gimmick. She's absolutely in no mood as a, and has no intention of resolving this. She has what she is doing with the victim's parents, she has done also with the junior doctors. She has threatened them. She has let loose her police on them. She has let loose her goons. Certified Trinamool Congress goons were let loose on the doctors at the night of 14th August, on the night of 14th August. So she has tried all Hitlerian and Stalinist methods. And now she is trying to again hoodwink people. She is trying to buy time by inviting them over for a discussion. What does she want to discuss? Their demand is very clear. They want the dismissal, they want the resignation and dismissal of the CP Kolkata. That is one of the demands. They want the resignation of the health secretary. That is one of the demands. So on what basis or on what issues is she going to talk with them? And she has even threatened them through the cartel of doctors that she controls who have actually created cesspools of corruptions out of these hospitals. So my suggestion would be that the doctors, I think, I mean, they are very astute, they are extremely resolute and we support them all out, should not fall into this trap. There is absolutely no point in going and discussing, discussing with them. It took her one month and one day to invite them over for discussion. She should have done that on day one.